Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know this video is going up fairly late um, because I like to post early in the morning, but I actually went to edit this footage last night and a lot of it was blurry, so I, I wanted to refilm. I didn't want to post something like that. So here I am today. I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as I can because actually my cat has a funky eye and I need to take her to the vet um, and I need to go get a cat carrier. So we're gonna get through this. You guys are gonna see what I wore this week. I wore three polishes, and actually they were from three different brands. And the first brand was one that I haven't worn before, so I was really excited about that. And that is Nine Zero's Tricks No Treats. This was a part of the Halloween collection, and this one was actually a re-release polish. Tina from Moon Baby Nails actually tagged me in it, and I was like, yes! Because after seeing this, you know, like pop up, during the Halloween season and not knowing if I would be able to find it in a D stash. I was really happy to f to know that I could get it directly from Jess herself. So this is a white curly base with metallic green, orange, and purple glitter. The metallic doesn't really show up on the nail. Um, and these are actually glitter shards. I'm sure you guys know all about this polish. Why am I talking to you like you don't know? Um, but if you're curious, the glitter shards are not... They, they lay fairly flat. I had a few rebellious uh, glitter shards, but for the most part they laid flat and I was able to get this one opaque and I would say it's, it's, it's good at two coats, but I went ahead and I applied a third because I liked that stark contrast of the white base against the colored glitter. So for me this one was a three coater, but I could see someone uh, categorizing this one as a two coat polish. This polish that I wore is a Warm Bodies by Noodles Nail Polish. This was actually gifted to me and this came from the October for Love of Polish box. This is a very shifty polish, and I was able to get it opaque in two coats. Um, I think you need to do a thinner first coat and then just go in with a medium or more thicker second coat, uh, because the first when I first started to apply it, I was doing really thin coats, and it was just, I was just making a mess. Um, so I would say thin first coat, thicker second coat, um, and you can get it opaque in two coats. Uh, my only issue with this, and I, it kind of pains me to say this, but it's the truth, and I think that's why it pains me as well, is that I wore this for, it, I, w I hadn't even had it on my nails for 24 hours and it had already started chipping. So I don't know, that's not happened to me with Noodles Nail Polish, so I don't know if it was, this polish or maybe I'm I'm encountering a change in my nails. I don't know, but either way, it was kind of a letdown. I can't just, I can't deny it. And the last polish that I wore this week was another polish that was gifted to me and that is Saltwater Sassy by KB Shimmer. This is another curly glitter mix. I had been waiting for the perfect moment to wear this, but you know what? I live in an area where we get all four seasons and my goodness, if we could just skip winter, if we just had three seasons, spring, summer, and fall, I would be totally fine. But when Winter is coming where I live and I just wanted to brighten things up and so I pulled this one out and I'm so happy that I did. It reminds me so much of Revlon's Whimsical which was a Deborah Lipman dupe. I don't know what it was a dupe of but it was a dupe. Um, but I think that this one actually has a better formula. This is a three coater though so I feel like it's kind of weird for me to say it has a good formula but the Revlon one was like a four coat polish, I don't even remember, and the glitter in there was very sparse. So for me this one is actually pretty good. Um, and like I said, I was able to get it opaque in three coats. So those are all the polishes that I wore this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I want to apologize that this video is going up late, but I wanted to give you guys some quality content, if you know what I mean. So I will see you in my next one. Bye!